All right, we're going to make Donnie work a little bit, Lab, right? We're going to, you know, we talk about the Big Ten and who the best player is, Big Ten player of the year, and, and figure now is a good time to get your take on the top five if we're voting right now, okay. Donnie. So let's uh, take a look at the big board here. There's a lot of pressure because <laughs> I know everyone's going to have an argument. I'm, I'm going to start with Iggy. That's all you need to know. Iggy, he's like Madonna. Bam. <laughs> because... He is a showstopper. He does so much for this Michigan team. And obviously, when you look at a team who's the top of the country, you got to look at who some of their best players are. This kid, as a freshman, is so special. His size, his range. And he's starting to learn how to play defense at the college level. So that's why I think this guy, he rounds out. He starts at number five. Might be able to move up, but right now, depending on how his team does, right now I have him at five. Right now his team's only got one loss. That's a pretty good way to go. How about number four? Where are we going next? Oh, man, he does so much. And last year did so much with so little. He's got some people back. Demetri Trice back to help him. He's got some shooters. Ethan Happ is so special. I know a lot of NBA guys say he plays under the rim. I don't care. He's a walking double-double. Terrific passer. Maybe the best passing big man in all of the all of the country. Yes, he has to work on his free throw shooting, guys. I get it. But Ethan Happ is just so special. He brings so much to the game because of the way he, he uses the, the, the inability to play above the room, I think, a actually helps him. That's four. And ironically, he, he's a big reason why Iggy's team has the loss, uh, right. the one loss. How about number three, Dottie? Oh, see, this one to me, Bruno Fernando. Hmm. He is NBA ready. Mark Turgeon had him come back is putting in NBA sets for him because he understands he cares about his player. Not only that, last year there was a lot of criticism on how he passed the ball or his inability to make the right pass. Better decision maker in the post, drawing a lot of attention on double teams, making the right play. Bruno Fernando is a beast at both ends of the floor, and he's polishing up that offensive game as well. Yeah, hard to argue with you, and yet I'd say Anthony Cowan worth consideration in that spot. As a matter of fact, they're a terrific tandem of inside and outside. Terps haven't won seven of eight on a tear until their loss to Michigan State. And Anthony Cowan shooting those dagger threes yeah. as well as playmaking, sharing the sugar. Next guy, when you have the name of the greatest of all time, there's no way I couldn't put you near the top. Cassius <laughs> Winston. Mama call him play. I'm going to call him play. Cassius Winston, to me, there aren't a lot of guys that do more, affect the game more than him. He's a great scorer. And with that being said, around 18 points a game, he still finds guys. That, that's what makes him so special is he never abandons his teammates. He always, he, he always is the guy that makes the extra pass. That's why this, this team is leading the country in assists at about 20, just over 20 assists per game. So that leaves us with number one. Donnie, who do you got? He should play football. If the NBA doesn't call his name, Carson Edwards, he can help a lot of NFL teams. He's got this great body. I love how he plays so free. And what I mean by free is you don't really have to call any plays for him. He can create stuff. He's making guys better around him. Tell you what, he's playing in a great building. His fans understand who he is. More importantly, his coach understands him. He is just a special, special player. You never know when he's going to pull up in your face, coach. You know, sometimes he shoots off balance. I like that because he's really, where I'm from, they say he's high to God. Who There's do we no feel is, is missing right here? Mm. Well, if I was going to add one, maybe Jordan Murphy. I agree yeah. with Carson Edwards as a player of the year. Acrobatic, dynamic, electrifying player. Plays almost like a dancer, but with a ball in his hands. And, of course, I go back to Purdue 31 years. But Jordan Murphy, double-double machine. Uh, Minnesota having a surprisingly good year. And um, just his tenacity and the way uh, Murphy attacks the basket and also defensively provides some resistance to the rim, and he goes to work on the boards. So. And by the way, I would take this five against any other top five in America, any other conference top five in America. It's a, it's a pretty nice five. And the good news is next segment we'll take phone calls. People can argue with you. <laughs> we won't. But tweet, tweet to lab. It would be fun. <laughs>